Hey everybody, Johnny here. Wanted to drop this quick video just to show you a new feature that's been added to the Blender code base. This one's called Spreadsheet. Now, Blender isn't going all Microsoft Excel on us, but it is showing us some additional data that's been hidden from us in the past. I've changed my bottom window here to a spreadsheet. The first thing you're going to see here is that this says it's a mesh, and then it has this drop down for attribute domain. What an attribute domain is, it's kind of a collection of items about this object so that the spreadsheet can display the information about that particular aspect. So by default, it's set to point. Every entry in this list represents one of the eight corners of this cube. I can change this to edge. Cube has 12 edges. And right now, there's no data associated with those edges. There's also corners. Corners are like the interior angle of each face. So a quad like this would have four corners. So that means this cube that has six faces has 24 corners. And finally, polygons. So any data related to the faces of the object. What we're gonna see is that any data that's initially set on the object will show up. So here, so here in point view, we see that each point has a position and a vertex normal. There's no edge data currently. The corners have the UV data for this object, and the polygons have a material index and shade smooth. So here's a cool thing. If I come in and add a second material to this object, and then assign it to one of the faces, we see that polygon number four now has a material index of one. If I select a couple of faces and shade them smooth, you'll see that face number zero and one are shaded smooth. Also, if I go in and I add, say, a vertex group to this object, you'll see that immediately in my point attribute domain that a group column has been added. Now as I assign values to these vertices, they show up there. I have a feeling that in the future, there will be an overlay on the mesh to show you where those particular row numbers are, but there isn't just right yet. However, there is a way to get around this. In edit mode, if I check this selected only box, it will only show me the rows in the spreadsheet that correspond to the selected items. So in this case, if I select three faces, I have three rows here, and I see that that's face number zero, face number one, and face number four. Currently, the spreadsheet is read-only, but I guarantee you that will change in the future. Here, I've added a geometry nodes tree to this cube, and you'll see now that there are no points listed for this object. That's because this object, now that it has a point distribute node, is being treated like a point cloud. So I need to change the part of the geometry to display data from to point cloud. Now, every one of these points that have been generated for this cube are now listed here with their normals, their positions, their radiuses, their rotations, all of that information is listed here. Now one of the cool things is say I create a new attribute based off of these. So let's take a look. If I create an attribute randomized node, and we'll call it new, new attribute. Now you'll see because this is a vector, I now have three new columns in my spreadsheet new attribute X, Y, and Z. And as I change the entries here for the minimum and the maximum, you see that those values keep changing. This way I can start to debug my node trees to see if the data I think is happening is actually happening or see where I'm getting messed up. I have a feeling this is gonna be a great tool in starting to debug some of the things in Blender that when things just aren't looking quite right and you're not sure why, you'll be able to go to the spreadsheet to get a more detailed view of the data you're looking for. I hope this becomes a much more powerful tool in the future to be able to go into this, select multiple columns, and add in a value to set for all of them all at once, or to do a fill down where I could have each one be incrementally one more or something to that nature. That would be pretty cool. This code is in the Blender 2.93 alpha build. Uh, I'd go ahead and download that from builder.blender.org, check it out, new features are being added to this all the time. Thanks to the Blender devs who are working on this code, they're really making Blender something special. Anyhow, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope it inspires you to do something awesome.
Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.